Hey what's up guys Shazad here and in this video I am going to show you how to install Dark Lord ROM on the Galaxy Note 3 and 9005. So after using this ROM for a while I can say that this is one of the best Galaxy S6 ROM for the Galaxy Note 3 and it is directly ported from the Galaxy S6 Edge and has lots of new features. So let's check out how to install this. So the prerequisites here are your device must be rooted and have a custom recovery like Touch or TWRP installed. Now download the ROM from the link in the description and before proceeding make sure you take a backup of your EFS partition. Now boot your device in recovery mode by holding the volume up, home and power button at the same time. First of all take a backup of your stock or current ROM. Now do a factory data reset, wipe cage partition, wipe Delvey cage in advanced menu, then go into mount and storage and format system. Now go back, hit install zip and find the Dark Lord ROM file. Click on it and hit yes to proceed. Now it will take us to the Aroma installer. First of all select the language, I am gonna choose English. Now choose the model number, mine is N9005. Now choose the country sales code, I am gonna keep it on the default. Uh, you can choose between stock and the dark queen kernel and also you can choose what themes you want to install. And finally in camera you can choose between the Note 3 and Note 4 camera. Just choose the Note 4, it is actually a 6 camera. Hit next, next and the ROM is installing now. Now if your device doesn't boot up, just hold up the power button until the device reboots. Now here we are up and running, the setup screen looks pretty similar to the S6. So there you have it folks, now you have successfully installed the S6 ROM on the Galaxy Note 3. Now if you get lots of system UI crashes and camera crashes, there are fixes for that. Uh, just go into the camera first of all and go into the settings and turn off shutter sound. Then go into the settings and turn off motions and gestures, festival effects. And finally set the unlock effect to none. Now this ROM will work perfectly fine. And here you can see this ROM is running on Android 5.0.2. Now let's quickly take a look at the camera and some other system apps. So guys that's pretty much it for this video, I will come out with my full review of this ROM so make sure you are subscribed for that and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit that like button and share it with the other people as well. Thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.